Okay, class, welcome to week 2 of ICT grade 10. Before we proceed to our next topic, let's have a short recap. Last week, we've discussed computer network basics. And um, we've learned that computer network is co a connection of two or more computers through wire or wireless. There are also some benefits of it, like sharing of files and... Um, it allows email, it allows remote troubleshooting and others. And we also have different types of computer network. We have the personal area network. We also have the local area network and the campus area network, the metropolitan area network and the wide area network or the internet. Okay class, welcome to week 2 of TLE ICT-10. Our lesson is about computer network materials. What are the materials we used in creating a computer network? Now, this video will be divided in, into three. The first video will be discussed on the computer network cables. The second video will be about network devices. And the last video will be about the other network devices. Okay, let's start with the first video. Okay, in our week 2, we will discuss network materials. It is very important to know what are the network materials because these are the things that we will use for us to create a network. We cannot establish a network without this. Now, let us discuss this one by one. What are these and what are their functions? Let's start with the common network cables. When I say cables, these are the wires that we use to connect each devices. For example, we, um, for us to create a network, we must connect several computers. For us to connect them, we can use wires. These are the network cables. There are different kinds of network cables um, depending on their use. Now let's start. The first is the twisted pair. Twisted pair is a, is a pair of wires forms a circuit that transmits data. Pairs is twisted to provide protection against crosstalk, the noise generated by adjacent pairs of wires in the cable. Now, um, the, the main function or the main use why these wires are twisted because it reduces the interference. Now, always remember that these wires carries data. To avoid in interference is very important because inter interference can um, interfere the data coming from one computer going to another. Pairs of copper wires are encased in color-coded plastic insulation and are twisted together. Now, twisted pairs is consists of four pairs of wires twisted to each other. There are different colors. We have the green, the white green, the orange, the white orange. We also have the blue, the white blue, the brown, and the white brown. Now, in using these wires, we have a color code to be followed. Okay, um, the both end of the wires must be in, must be in the same color code if you are using a LAN connection. Okay. There are two types of twisted pairs. We have the UTP and the STP. Now, what are the difference? Let us start with the UTP. UTP or, or the unshielded twisted pair. Okay. It is consists of four pairs of wires. I mentioned the colors earlier. The cable relies solely on the cancellation effect reduced by the twisted wires that limits signal degradation. Now, UTP, ito yung laging ginagamit or usually na ginagamit sa LAN. Okay? Why? First, these wires are um, easy to use. It is cheap. And it is practical. But, um, the interference or the cancellation of interference is a bit lower than the STP nag lang siya doon sa pinaka-cover ng 
wire, then sa twisted. Okay, nakatwist yung wire niya, yun lang ang pinaka noise reduction niya. Okay? Now, um, meron tayong iba't ibang categories. There are different categories of UTP. We have the CAT1, CAT2. CAT stands for category. CAT3, CAT4, CAT5, CAT5E, CAT6, CAT6 and CAT7. Each category of UTP differs on the data rate. Okay? Gaano kalaking data ba yung kaya nilang i-hold? Okay? Per second. The higher the category, the bigger the data rate. The better. Okay? But, the higher the category, um, the expensive the wire is, and also, the higher the category, mas matigas din yung wire. So, mas mahirap siyang i ilatag sa network. Okay? Now, aside from UTP, the, uh, the other twisted pair is what we call the STP or the shielded twisted pair. Now, similar to UTP, kaya lang ito is shielded. Each pair of wires wrapped in a metallic foil. So, why? To help the noise reduction. Okay po? So, ibig sabihin nyo, yung avoidance ng interference nito is mas mataas compared dun sa UTP. Also, more difficult to install itong ano, kaya hindi siya laging ginagamit sa LAN. Kung tila yung gumagamit, bukod sa mas mahal ito, it is also hard to install kasi nga mas makapala siya, mas matigas yung wire. So, mas mahirap siyang i-bend. Okay? Now, another type of cable is the coaxial cable. So, coaxial cable is copper cord cable surrounded by heavy shielding. So, ito naman, napakatigas ng cover nito, no? So, yung, in yung interference ay nare-reduce talaga. So, ginagamit to usually for outdoor. But, sa ngayon, kaunti na lang gumagamit ng coaxial cable kasi nga, um, pang, dahil pang outdoor ito, merong limit yung kanyang length. So, dahil doon, yung um, karamihan na ginagamit na lang is the fiber optic cable. No? So, fiber optic, lagi natin naririnig. Fiber. Okay, fiber connected. Ibig sabihin, ang ginamit na cable to connect your network to your internet provider is fiber optic cable. No, fiber optic cable is a glass or plastic conductor that transmits information using light. So, ibig sabihin, mas nabilis ang transmission or, or ang flow ng data dito. All signals are covered to light pulses to enter the cable and are converted back. So, um, the bottom line is, fiber optic allows you to transfer data at a full speed. Then, yung length nito is mas mahaba din compared to coaxial cable. Now, there, um, those are the three types of cables in computer network, the twisted pair the coaxial cable and the fiber optic cable. This is EA3. I hope you learn, you apply it, and you create. Goodbye. Thank you.